Race matters in America, and white privilege is real. Absolutely. And, and, and Fox right now has seen more stars leave <laughs> because of this sexual harassment thing. That, that, I mean, Roger Ailes. I mean, Bill O'Reilly. And these women are getting paid because they've been hassled. Yet we have a president that says Bill O'Reilly is cool. But then again, Billy Bush was cool. Grab him. <laughs> What's your statement? Not fold. Uh, we know that, that, that there are two sets of standards. Standards for uh, the reverse party and, and standards for uh, the Dems. There's uh, standards for African Americans as well as uh, for those who are not African American. Uh, so anything goes when it's not black folks. But uh, let it come from us then there's a problem. Big. Listen, um, Brian Banks in the studio, uh, he's going to introduce us to a young lady. You better get on over there next to that mic, young lady, until you get there. Brian, who is this young lady? Hey, Mildred, uh, I'm here and joined by Tanisha Yancey. I'm sorry, Attorney Tanisha Yancey. Attorney! Attorney Tanisha Lawyer. Yancey. And this is a young lady I've known since the first grade. We were uh, in elementary school, middle school, and then uh, we went to different high schools for a moment. But uh, we've been longtime childhood friends. And so Tanisha uh, is a law licensed practicing attorney in the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. Uh, and she is running uh, to replace me in the Michigan legislature. Tanisha uh, was appointed to the Harper Woods School Board and was elected to the position last year. She's been a precinct delegate um, for a number of years. She has strong labor roots. Uh, she happens to be the niece of Vice President Jimmy Suttles of the UAW. All right. um, but she's been very active and engaged in the community. Uh, she's worked on a number of campaigns. She's a single mother. She has a strong story. Uh, and what I love about her is she cares about the community and our people. But she also has been through life. She uh, took care of her sick mother. Uh, and, and, and so she is what we need in Lansing to go there and work with Sherry and the other Detroit legislators. So I present to your listeners, Mildred, attorney Tanisha Yancey. Uh, give her my card, please. <laughs> I told you he's trying to get some checks. <laughs> Listen, you have four minutes. Uh, uh, you're going to make less money in the state, aren't you? Uh, uh, so you don't want to discuss it, money it is, with me, do you? It is, but I think that public service is, is worth it. It's worth it. It's worth the cost. So uh, money is not everything. And I tell people all the time, all money isn't good money. So it's, it's great. It's a great challenge. All right, now, wh why, why, why this particular office? You could be doing a whole lot of things. I could. I absolutely could. However, be because of my experience, um, due, due to my experience as an attorney also in the community, I've always been the community-oriented uh, type. I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, where, um, and one of the things that drew me to that organization is that they are service-oriented, and that is what I have always, was, has always been bred in me. Um, as Brian stated, Jimmy Settles is my uncle, and when I was eight years old, we used to go knocking on doors and dropping off literature for our campaigns, and it's just been, it's, in, it's embedded. I well, was, well, Mildred, first of all, if I could just give some free advice, the strong suit Representative Banks, this young lady has, is that she's a single mother. I, when I teach my media class, when I work with people on their campaigns, I tell them over and over that single moms are the key to winning elections in Detroit and most urban areas in the country. And I don't use the term single female head of household because I think it demeans a little bit. But single mothers and those that have endured that experience, and I use the term endured because it's an immense challenge raising a family, making ends meet as a single mother. And here we have a young lady that not only has done that, but has managed to graduate from college and, yeah, law, school and law school and pass the bar exam. So this young lady is an example of what we can do in our community, Jimmy Settles notwithstanding. And she uh, also had a number of personal challenges. I mean, taking care of and raising, uh, taking care of a child, raising them as a single mother, but also taking care of a, a sick parent. Uh, and a so caregiver. A caregiver, that, that's commendable. But also having uh, had her own life challenges, um, uh, a very tumultuous relationship with the guy and having gone through that. And so she has a great story. And so I'm proud to support her. I'll be out there knocking doors with her. 
just as if I was the candidate to ensure that we get this strong Democrat in office. Thank you. Um, and being a single mother has actually inspired me more than anything. Prior to being a mother, I only thought about myself. And once I became a mother, I had to think about someone else. There was somebody else I had to think about, someone else I had to um, be responsible for, and someone else who was looking at me, and, and that was that changed my life completely. Uh, and when I went to law school, I actually went to undergrad and law school with a young child. He was about one in undergrad and he was eight or nine in law school. It was never a good time to go to law school with a kid as a single parent. However, um, I am so glad that I chose to do it at a time that he could remember because he now wants, he, he now aspires to be an attorney. Awesome. And that was priceless. I always say, oh, I waited too late. I waited too late. I was too old. But it was the exact time that I should have done it because he now aspires to be an attorney and I am very proud of that. And we'll be talking we talking with you some some more, attorney Yancey. I can't wait. We need more women of color in the legislature. We need more women, period. With her.